Math 31, let's get our first look at using the binomial theorem to expand this binomial. Now when I say binomial, I have two terms in this parentheses, right? One term, two terms. So by, there's two terms. And it's raised to the eighth power. So if I want to use the binomial theorem, this is going to take us a little while to write out, but x plus y raised to the eighth power. Now keep in mind, you're more than welcome if you want, and I would not recommend this, you're more than welcome to do x plus y times x plus y. Oh, good God, I don't even want to write it out. Times x plus y. Just give me a second. I only got to get eight of them. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You could spend, I don't know, let's say the next hour or two multiplying all of these together. But imagine how many foilings you'd have to do and how many distributions and collecting of like terms and the likelihood of you making an error is pretty high not because you're not awesome but because there's just so much freaking work to do so we're going to use the binomial theorem instead and what the binomial theorem says is that we can expand this by taking the binomial coefficient so i'm going to do eight choose zero here all right and then I will take my first term, x, and I will raise it to the eighth power. I will take, take my second term, y, and raise it to the zero power, all right? So always start with your first term raised to the highest, or raised to the power given, or exponent given, and y raised to the zero. So take note that these two exponents add up to eight. Your exponent should always add up to this exponent here. All right, the second term in my expansion will be eight choose one. And now we're going to descend the powers of x and ascend the powers of y. So this will become x to the 7th, y to the 1st. All right, so take note. I went 8 choose 0, then 8 choose 1. I went from x to the 8th to x to the 7th, descending powers of x, ascending powers of y. So the next one is going to be 8 choose 2. I'm going to have x to one less power, so x to the 6th, y squared. And taking note, just so far, every time out, the exponents add to 8. 8 plus 0 is 8, 7 plus 1 is 8, 6 plus 2 is 8, and then i got to keep on going. So we're going to also go 8 choose 3, all right, lower the power on x, raise the power on y. And then we'll do 8 choose 4, lower the power on x, raise the power on y. And I always do just a little quick check to make sure my exponents are adding up to eight because these can get pretty convoluted. I still, I mean, I still argue it's easier than doing this, but even this has got a lot of algebra in it. All right, so let's see how we're doing. I'm to eight choose four. All right, I still gotta go. We got eight choose five. All right, descend the power on X, so that's going to cubed. Y is gonna go to the fifth. We've got eight choose six. This will be X squared, Y to the sixth. I've got eight choose seven. This will be x, y to the seventh. And then last but not least, we'll have eight choose eight. The x's actually go away, right? It will technically be x to the zero, but that's just gonna be the number one. And then y to the eighth power. All right, and that, I'm still not done, but that's the binomial theorem being played out. My, my next and last steps are gonna to be to figure out what these binomial coefficients are equal to. So let's figure out what is eight choose zero? What is eight choose one? So on and so forth. If I can figure that out, I'm done with my problem. So we have a couple ways of doing eight choose zero. You can use the formula that was on the front page of this packet or this section, or you can plug this into your calculator. You hit eight, go math, PRB, option three, zero. Well, eight choose zero is one, okay. So if I clean this up a little, this is one times x to the eighth times y to the zero. Well, y to the zero is also one, so my first term is just x to the eighth. All right, plus, let's see what eight choose one is equal to. All right, if I wanna do eight choose one, it looks like that's equal to eight. So this is going to be plus eight, x to the seventh, and then y to the one, I would just write as y. All right, so take note, my powers of x are descending. That's good. All right, so let's keep going with this. What is, whoa, dropped my calculator, got so excited. All right, what is eight choose two? It looks like that is 28. So I have eight choose two, x to the sixth, y squared. All right, let's get eight choose three in there. Looks like 56. 
All right, and we had x to the fifth y cubed. And just do a quick little check. I see that still the powers on x are descending. That's great, right? And the powers on y are ascending. That's also great. That's what should be happening. All right, we were up through the x to the fifth y to the cubed. Let's do eight choose four here. It looks like I'm at 70. All right, let's keep on going here. All right, I've got eight, choose five. All right, 56, hmm, interesting, got the same number. All right, we got 56, or I said, I should say a repeated number. All right, we've got x cubed, y to the fifth. All right, plus, let's do eight, choose six. We've got 28, x squared, y to the sixth. I think I'm gonna just run out of room. I was hoping I could get all of this on one line. Um, and since I can't, I'm actually gonna just move these two down because I do want us to be able to see the symmetry here. Okay, so let's see. That might not even be enough to squeeze it all in. All right, let's do eight choose seven. Looks like we're at eight. So I've got eight x, y to the seventh. And then last but not least, we need eight choose eight, which is the number one. All right, so I've got one, x to the zero is one, and y to the eighth is itself. So this is just plus y to the eighth. So now again, you could be taking your, your Friday night and multiplying all of these out and collecting like terms. But I would argue, even though the binomial theorem is a little bit of a pain, it is way faster than doing that. So here is the binomial expansion, right? If I were to take x plus y and raise it to the eighth and multiply everything out and collect like terms, this would be my answer. And I do want you to hear the symmetry in terms of the coefficients, right? We went 1, 8, 28, 56, 70 and then 56, 28, 8, 1, right? There was symmetry, 56, 28, 8, 1. And there always is symmetry with these binomial coefficients. And again, powers of x descended, right? We had 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. And for y's, they ascended. We had 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So as you become more and more comfortable expanding binomials with the binomial theorem, these problems tend not to take so long. But we're gonna move away from just having an x here and a y here, and we're really gonna mess with the two terms in your binomial, and I want you to see how that, re that affects your work as we apply the binomial theorem. All right, so let's move on to example four and take a look at that binomial expansion. I'll see you in a bit, bye.